For Best Music Coach, my name is Dan, and you are watching a music teacher's reaction live and in real time to Zelda, The Legend of Zelda, excuse me, Breath of the Wild soundtrack. I've never heard this before, not once ever. I did play this game, but I played it on mute because I like to listen to podcasts while I play video games. I know that's weird, but that's what I like to do. And we're going to rock and roll. So this is part three. We're going to have a slightly shortened playlist today uh, because we could not find uh, all the songs in order at the last minute because, well, we won't get into that. You can look at the chat for uh, more info on that for what happened before the stream. But let's get this rock and rolling. I've never heard this before. This is going to be all my comments. Everything I teach, everything I talk about is off the top of my head in the moment, which means I may make some mistakes along the way, but I'm also going to get some things right. So it's going to be a fun adventure. Watch me try. It's kind of like NASCAR. You show up sometimes just to watch me crash and burn. Let's go ahead and start with The Divine Beasts Strike. Okay, so what's interesting is that Divine Beast Strike actually held elements, if I recall correctly, from all the Divine Beasts and all of the boss themes as well, I believe, all the Ganon themes. So I think what's interesting is I think there's a connection between some of the Ganon themes and the Divine Beasts. It's almost like there's small elements to show the connection between the various Wind Blight, Fire Blight Ganons and their... Uh, divine beasts that they inhabit, take over, parasitically infest. Okay, this next one is called Corrupted Ganon Battle. So we've made it into Hyrule Castle, and we're going to rock and roll. Alright, it's really interesting that when you have these hits on the right ear, you actually can hear the volume level go down in the left ear. Sounds like a sidechain compressor off this sound, pulling that one down. Very interesting. Or a sidechain noise gate, perhaps. Or maybe it was handwritten automation for you producers out there. Before we move forward, a quick shout out and thank you to Blargan Schnorf. Blargan says, remember chat or chat. You can super chat or super chat 
to bump up our season. We want Dan to react to his to-do list like what I'm doing right now. Wow. Talk about leading by example. $10 to Sonic Adventure 2. Thank you so much, Antonio the Taco, who says, what's up, Chet? This dono is for the Ori games. We will rock and roll with those just as soon as we finish this stream. I'll add those in and update the list. Okay. This next one is Dark Beast Ganon Phase 1. I know we've jumped pretty far, but that's where we are. Now we have this big sort of minotaur looking thing. And we've got to run around on our horse and shoot it with our golden bow because that's the way the cookie crumbles. Oh, it's an almost like screamy sound in the background. Oh, play piano. All right, listen to this electronic element coming in now underneath. Oh, that was so cool. Like little organ hits there. Man, this piano player is going to town and I'm loving it. Alright, listen to this really crunchy, warm, squishy bass. I love it. Oh my gosh, I love that transition there. So the really cool part of that transition is it actually uses the two channels of stereo to give you that effect. So it gives you boom, one hit over here, boom, one hit over here, and then we're back to the stereo. Absolutely love it. Huge shout out and thank you to Pikachu. Pikachu says, Pika Pika, Pika Pika Pika, Pika Pika, Pika Pika, which translates as, it's a shame about the other Breath of the Wild playlist getting removed. Well, you know, Nintendo's fully within the rights. Hope you've been enjoying what you've heard so far. Also put this chat towards the near replicant fund. Will do absolutely Pikachu. And may I say thank you in your language, Pika Pika. Okay, moving forward. This next one is Dark Beast Ganon Phase 2. Oh, yeah, piano.
Okay, so what's so cool here is both in part one, phase one, excuse me, and now in phase two, we're hearing this really, truly, awesomely incredible uh, marriage between this orchestral thing happening in the background, this repetitive orchestral thing happening in the background, plus in the front, this like jazzy, rocking, modern piano just going to town, like playing like a boss. Like if you guys want to know what a good piano player sounds like, that's it right there. Wow. And of course, good is subjective, but wow. Love it. This next one is Calamity. God, and well, we already did. Oh, okay, I, I apologize. That was Dark Beast Phase 2. This is Calamity Gadden Phase 1. I think we're a little out of order, but uh, here we go. So I think what's interesting here, we can actually hear that the sound recording quality right here is not as good as what we were hearing last time. We're actually hearing some distortion and some clipping in these larger, larger, more complex situations. Not necessarily clipping, but it might just be that the quality is lower to the point where we're not getting the high fidelity playback. That's some Metallica wrist right there. Within the bell tolls. That was super cool. I think that was actually a little slower than the past cannons we've heard. So here's phase two. Ah, and this is a little faster for sure. So we actually hear significant speed tempo change between phase one and phase two of the game again. I played this boss fight with uh, full ancient armor and ancient weapons. So it honestly was not that hard. Just got a couple good dodges in and that took care of it.
love it. Okay. So you know how we've talked about in past streams, and if you're just joining us for the first time here, there's an idea and a tool that's used in music, especially in these larger compositions where you have a lot of instruments playing, of these hits with space machine. Now, what am I? What I mean by hits is this: you have a large amount of the instruments playing all together, bang, bang, and then there's space, bang, bang, or they hit closer together, bump, 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 bump. Or da gunk go gunk go go gunk, and you get these repeating patterns where a lot of things come together, a lot of elements, a lot of instruments that are playing come together at the same time. It really gives this feeling of drama and of power and of something very exciting happening. You can actually hear a lot of progressive rock and metal bands using that same idea of those hits and those spaces. To create a feeling of power and intensity. So the next one is Ganon Vanquished. 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 So long, Ganon. Oh, there's birdies now. We got ready Ganon. Awesome. Well, for now, this next one is called Epilogue. I love the nature sounds of this. You know, like a stream running. Ah! We're getting that Hyrule theme there. Oh, I love the reharm though. Oh, Zelda main theme. I was calling it Hyrule main theme. Zelda main theme? Is that right, chat? Zelda main theme? Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I love the choir on that. Ooh, changing here. That was different. Hmm. That was probably my favorite version of the main Zelda theme I've ever heard. That really hit me in the feels too. That really, it's like having that choir in there behind the melody, that was so cool. I absolutely, I had not heard all the OSTs from all the Zelda games, but I'll tell you right now, out of the ones I have heard from playing, that right there is my favorite presentation of the main theme from Zelda. That was incredible. Let's uh, listen to the cred cr credits music, you guys. <laughs> Ah. Oh, now we're getting flavors 
from past parts of the soundtrack that we've heard. Listen to those bells that are being hit there. Oh, it's not bells, bowls. Excuse me. It sounds like bowls. Oh, you know the brass bowls? They use in different Buddhist traditions. So I think what's interesting is right there, rhythmically, it's pushing us towards hearing the main Zelda theme right there. We can go back and unpack it. But there's something happening rhythmically there that is a callback to the main theme. Yeah. You hear that trumpet? It's calling out little fragments of the melody there. So it's like they're pulling tiny fragments from the theme. It's like tiny little melody fragments, just a couple notes here and there and weaving it into other parts. Other themes from different places, which then I suppose are light motifs, because they're representing a place. Light motifs represent a person, place, or thing, a noun. Now 
Now we have Cass's chord in here. So even the way it ended, ba 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 ba. That's where it would go next in terms of the main theme from Zelda. Quick shout out and thank you to Put in Hun Eleven. Put in Hun, thank you so much for your support of these streams. Thank you for your super chats. Put in Hun says, "Heyo, wasn't able to be here for all the breakdown about the wild because was enjoying my birthday. Well, happy birthday, Put in Hun. Oh my goodness." Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Puddin' Hun, happy birthday to you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this next one is... 
Hyrule Castle outside plus inside transition. Yeah, so it's like two groupings of five, one grouping of six, one grouping of five. interesting this is a different sound a different sounding organ maybe someone who's really up on their uh, organ instruments could delineate the difference between that sort of cathedral pipe organ we heard and this organ we're hearing now see like that one we're hearing right now yeah it's so much more angular 
Or is it the same organ and you just press a different button and you get two different sounds out of it? This is something I don't actually know, and I'd love for you to let me know in the comments or in the chat. Thank you so much. Xylocene says different stops on the organ. Yeah, so different ways of getting different timbers out of the organ, essentially. Excellent. This next one was, I think, the most difficult boss fight in the whole game for sure, hands down. Monk Maz Koshia. This was an intense, intense fight. Oh, all right. And quick shout out to Super Chat. JT Paper, how you doing today, JT? Hyrule Castle, both inside and outside, my favorite track in this game. About to catch it live. Twilight Princess to the list. Rock and roll with that, JT Paper. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support of this channel. Oh, oh, I love the electronic elements playing with the acoustic elements.
All right, so these strings are doing some sick things right here. Oh my gosh, I love those slidey strings, man. So I think what's interesting here is the combination of the sound of these analog physical instruments with these digital instruments which symbolizes this ancient Sheikah technology found throughout the game which is super high tech but it's also ancient and feels very natural and organic in a way at the same time like the way your map would update with this drop of like I know it's a drop of like data but it looks like it's water that falls onto your little Sheikah tablet, and then you can tell what the map is. Very interesting. Okay, this next one is called Molduga Battle, and thank you for suggesting I listen to that chat. Let's check this out. Sounds like djembe. And upright bowed bass there. right there. Very interesting how you had two different notes being played to really create dissonance there. Oh, come on now. Oh, come on, violin. Oh, come on. Or viola sounds a little warm.
Oh, we got a plan. We got a plan string here. Bring us back. So we have this sort of like trading fours here. Trading eight, spinning how fast the things really going. That was a ton of fun. This next one is Guardian Theme Battle. Hoping this is the right one. Oh, look out. Oh, we gone groove. Oh. No, don't run. Stand and fight. Jump off of something. Get that slow-mo advantage. What if you just have a stick? <laughs> you know that thing where you can throw sticks? <laughs> you know, throw sticks at guardians. Okay, so really interesting that the music sounds mechanical. It literally sounds like this mechanical guardian creature. And that slight distortion-y type of sound we're hearing as well. That's something that we've heard with other Sheikah technology throughout this soundtrack. Make sure you hang out after the song to hear my final reaction and summary. Oh, I love that, Chet. Thank you so much for recommending that, and thank you to Chet as well. JT Paper says, Dan, imagine you're running around in silence, okay? That I did do for the whole game. And ambiance, well, didn't do that. And then all of a sudden... The start of this song kicks in. That's why we're so, oh, I see. So that sort of gets your adrenaline jump and gets you pumping because you know you're about to have to deal with a guardian. Well, thanks for that super chat and thank you for telling me about that and explaining that to me, JT Paper. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Please hit like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can join this channel, become a member, which means you get members-only polls, you get AMAs depending on your membership tier, and you get to use your membership money every month. So let's say you sign up for a tier that's a dollar, you get a dollar of voting power every single month for what OST you want to hear next. So that means you get to decide what I listen to, which is really cool. You also get to decide what everyone votes on. Uh, or contribute to deciding that. Okay. Now, my final reaction is, I completely agree with chat. Chat said there were some very interesting things in the DLC that I should listen to. Thank you, chat, for pushing me to go do that because I absolutely loved listening to those last three tracks. I really loved everything else. My favorite piece so far easily was, I believe, the epilogue music where we had um, and I may be getting the name wrong but it was the piece where we had the entire theme of Zelda the main theme of all these games playing and the way it was harmonized the instrumentation the arrangement of it was just perfect and I absolutely absolutely loved it thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this chat, please hit like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join join this channel. Join this channel and be 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 become a member. And I will see you guys next time. No, I did not mean to do what just happened. It just happened. I'm playing jazz. I'll see you guys next time.